Hello, in this tutorial we are going to find out cut length of chair ball. So let's get started. First let's look about the definition regarding the chair ball. And chair ball are used in reinforcement because they hold the reinforcement in a position. They maintain the distance between top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement. And here in this picture you can see the chair ball okay it is starting like this okay it is going in this direction then here okay so this is basically chair bar it's hold the top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement okay so this is basically the usage of this chair bar okay and this is the shape of this chair bar and let's say look about the different parts of chair this is called as head okay this is called as head head of chair okay and uh, this is basically right from this position up till here it is height of chair okay and these two this one and this one is called as leg of chair okay so normally we use uh, for head as 50 d 50 into die of bar die of this chair bar and uh, for this d okay for head we will uh, go with the b okay we will go and we will use b over here for the head okay and for height we will use e d okay okay so i'll let you know about how we can find out this d as well and for a okay this is for the uh, leg of the chair for leg we will uh, denote it with a it is 2 into spacing plus 3 inch and in millimeter it is 50 millimeter okay 2 into spacing plus 50 millimeter in millimeter and in inches and the feet it is 2 into spacing plus 3 so which of this spacing over here is i'll let you know about this one as well which spacing we need to take so here is basically cross section of our floating okay and this is our main bar in the cross section now for a what we need to do is we need to take spacing of this bar and this is main bar basically and let's suppose 2 into spacing is 9 inch okay so 2 into 9 plus 3 inch okay so this is basically we need to take over here for spacing for the main bar at the bottom okay so we here find out a okay we have find out b 15 to die off bar okay and die off bar we are using over here is four number how we can find out this d so let's look about uh, the cut length of the chair bar and then we will find out the d as well so cut length is basically 2a plus 2d okay 2a mean we have two legs and plus 2d we have 2d okay this one and this height as well plus b this one the head okay minus bend directions okay where a is equal to 2 into spacing plus 3 2 into spacing of main bar at the bottom plus 3 inch b is equal to 15 to die off bar and d is equal to footing height that is 24 inch and then we need to minus all of these values so i have put all of this value in one bracket so upper plus lower concrete cover we need to deduct this one from the footing okay upper plus lower concrete cover so upper concrete cover minus lower concrete cover 2 inch plus 2 inch okay plus upper main plus distribution bar so at up and side we need to detect with the concrete cover as this main bar and this distribution bar in order to reach up till this level plus lower side only main bar because this bent up sorry the chair bar will be stay on this main bar so at lower end side we need to detect concrete cover minus we need to detect only main bar dia okay and upper side we need to detect concrete cover distribution bar in the main bar as well in order to reach up to this level okay so let's put all of these values over here now a is equal to okay this a 2 into spacing we now spacing here in the main bar is 9 inch center to center so 2 into 9 plus 
3 inch okay so it will become what a is equal to 21 inch now b is equal to we now 50 into db dia bar so dia let's take as four numbers it could be any dia it will become what 25 inch now d is equal to let's put the values here in the formula so the formula here is footing height that is 24 inch minus we need to minus all of this value okay so footing height minus upper plus lower concrete cover so concrete cover over here is 2 inch so 2 plus 2 for upper and the lower plus uh, we need to detect uh, next one over here is upper lower concrete upper main bar and the distribution bar dia so main bar distribution bar everything we are using over here in this example as four number okay it could be any dia you need to put it over here 0.5 inch and 0.5 inch plus we need to detect uh, the bottom and side main bar dia only 0.5 inch again so it will become what 18.5 inch so this is basically d mean height of chair now cut length will be equal to what 2 into a plus 2 into d plus b that is 25 minus we need to do the bend detections so here in this chair we have four bends one two three and four bends for 90 degree so 2d okay for 90 degree multiply by number of bends is four so it will become what 100 inch now cut length of this chair bar is 100 inch mean 8.33 feet now one another thing you can see here number of chair bars in 10 square feet is equal to one numbers okay so if we have a area for the footing or it could be any as 10 square feet there we need to use only one chair bar if we have 100 square feet area we need to divide it on 10 in order to find out the number of chairs bar that will be equal to 10 and in meter for one meter square we need one number of chair bar this is very important if you want to find out number of chair bars okay uh, in feet for 10 square feet okay we need one numbers and in meter for one meter square we need one numbers okay so this is how we can find out number of chair bars and cut length of chair bar hope you really understand the session i'll see you in the next